you know, this came from the idea that symptoms, right, pain and other symptoms can be learned, that the nervous system actually latches on to a symptom. And at some point, even if there was an injury, the way the brain and nervous system is acting changes. And the parts of the brain that light up in chronic symptoms, symptoms that have been there, say, longer than three months, is really different. And those brain areas are more associated with learning and meaning and, and emotion. And so from an education perspective, we want people to understand that all pain is real, but the reason this pain is here now isn't because you're in injured anymore. It's because your brain has learned it. And now it's running it almost as a habit, like any skill that you would learn in your life on repeat. And so the goal is not to fix your body necessarily, although working on the body can be helpful. As I said before, the goal is to change your brain's perception of safety and danger is sometimes the easiest way to say it. But we're trying to get your brain to unlearn this neural pathway, we call it, or neural circuit, some people call it. And we're trying to replace that with something different. So one example would be, you know, when people have pain, naturally, they get very focused on it. It takes a lot of attention. They're thinking about it a lot. So essentially, they're practicing it like they would be practicing a skill that they wanted to learn, like the piano or learning to type or whatever. And the more you practice anything, the bit, right? And so conceptually, what we want people to do is to recognize that, yes, the pain is real, but it's not something we want you practicing anymore. 